Curiosity Challenge. Asking the questions, Jeremy Paxman. Hello. Two more student teams toss their hats into the round one ring tonight. Whichever of them prevails can look forward to doing the whole thing again in round two. The best the losers can hope for is that their score lands within the top four losing scores from these first round matches, which will earn them a chance to redeem themselves in the playoffs. The University of Bristol, developed out of efforts by John Percival, the headmaster of Clifton College, in the 1870s, bolstered by support from Benjamin Jowett of Balliol College, Oxford, and donations from the local Fry and Wills families. It received its charter in 1909. Alumni include the physicist Paul Dirac, the biologist and presenter Alice Roberts, and the playwright Laura Wade, as well as David Williams and Matt Lucas, and the actors Emily Watson and Simon Pegg, with a student population of just under 24,000, with an average age of 23. Let's meet the Bristol team. Hi, I'm Dom Owens. I'm from Petersfield in Hampshire, and I'm studying for a PhD in statistics. Hello, I'm Robert Pye. I'm from Wolverhampton, and I study chemistry. And this is their captain. Hi, I'm Zizi Doug Williams. I'm originally from Cardiff, and I'm studying for a PGCE in French. Hi, I'm Benjamin Salmon. I'm from Finchley in North London, and I study politics and international relations. Now, Corpus Christi College, Oxford, was founded in 1517 by Richard Fox, the Bishop of Winchester, and a political advisor to Henry VII. It's one of Oxford's smaller colleges, with only around 350 students. It won this competition, though, in 2005. Former corpuscles, as alumni are known, include the churchman John Keeble, the philosopher Sir Isaiah Berlin, the former editor of The Guardian, C.P. Scott, the politicians Ed and David Miliband, and the writers Vikram Set and Lucy Atkins. Tonight's team have an average age of 20. Let's meet them. Hi, I'm Libby Cherry. I'm from Stroud and I study English. Hi. I'm Michael, I'm from Pretoria, South Africa, and I study biochemistry. This is their captain. Hi, I'm Tyron, I'm from Tumbridge and Kent, and I study history and politics. Hello, I'm Sean Webb, I'm from Ealing in West London, and I read ancient and modern history. Well, the rules are the same as ever. 10 points for starter questions, 15 for bonuses. There's a five-point penalty, remember, if you interrupt a starter question and you've got the wrong answer. Right. Fingers on the buzzers, 10 points for this. What domestic animal links the meaning in Old Norse of the Faroe Islands, a well-known aria in J.S. Bach's Hunt Cantata, the novel on which the film Blade Runner was based, and a... Bristol Owens. Pass. No, you lose five points. And a pioneer of cloning science that lived from 1996 to 2003. Corpus Christi Webb. Sheep. Sheep is correct, yes. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on Men in Black. In which cult novel of 1973 does a mysterious man in black defeat, in turn, Inigo Montoya, Fezzik and Vizzini? Uh, uh, yeah, they did, but, like... I don't think I'm going to remember it. Do you not know? I don't think we have it, no. I'm afraid we don't know. It's The Princess Bride. Oh. Played initially by Ed Harris, the man in black is a major character in which recent television series developed from a film by Michael Crichton? Like, what, what have they made a film of the Michael Crichton? Jurassic Park? Or have they made a TV series in it? Or, um, I don't I think it's Park. probably not. We could try it, but probably not. Jurassic Park. No, it's Westworld. Uh, Somewhat earlier, which poet described a dreamed encounter with a knight dressed all in black in his first major work, The Book of the Duchess? Yes. Uh, Chaucer. Correct. Ten points for this. The Yarra River meets the sea at Port Phillip Bay near which major city? Uh, the Corpus Christi Webb. Melbourne. Melbourne is correct, yes. Your bonuses are on works in the National Gallery that its website describes as our must-see masterpieces. In each case, name the Italian artist who painted the following. Firstly, Bacchus and Ariadne, commissioned by the Duke of Ferrara and completed in 1523. Tish, Titian, I think. It's Italian. 
Titian. Nominate Webb. Uh, Titian. It is Titian, you're right. A panel of the Battle of San Romano, dating to about 1440 and noted for its use of linear perspective, oh, secondly. Um, Uccello. 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 Uccello is correct. And finally, Venus and Mars, dating to about 1485. Uh, yeah, possibly. Try it. Yes, yeah. Da Vinci? No, that's by Botticelli. Uh. Ten points for this. In chemistry, what term denotes a substance that is conductive when dissociated either by dissolving in a liquid or melting? Examples are acids, bases and salts. Corpus Christi Zyman. Ion. No, you lose five points. Acids, bases and salts dissolved in water or alcohol. Bristol pie. Ironic. That's no, electrolyte. Ten points for this. According to Byron, what human quality is nothing but the paint on the face of existence? The least touch of truth rubs it off. Francis Bacon describes it as a good breakfast but a bad supper. Shakespeare says it flies with swallows' wings. And in his essay on man, Pope says it springs eternal in the human breast. Corpus Christi Webb. Hope. Hope is correct. Corpus, these bonuses are on scientific terms. All three answers begin with the same five letters. What is the six-letter alternative name of C6H5OH, or carbolic acid? I need you to spell your answer. What's that? Ethanol, possibly. Yeah. Ethanol? Yeah. Oh, E-T-H-A. -E yeah. E-T-H-A. Yeah, I'm afraid it's phenol. Oh. Widely used as a pH indicator and as a laxative, what organic compound has the molecular formula C2OH1404? It's starting at the same letters, so like maybe phenophaline? Something like that. Phenophaline? Correct. Richard Dawkins suggested that beavers, dams, spiders, webs and bowerbird bowers are all examples of extended what? Extended Phenotypes. Phenotypes. Yeah, possibly. Phenotypes? Phenotypes is correct. <laughs> right, your picture starter in this picture round shows, in isolation, a region defined by the UK Office of National Statistics as a travel-to-work area. That is, an area whose boundaries reflect commuting patterns, such that at least two-thirds of the resident population also work within the area. For ten points, name the city marked in red, which is the most populous within the region. Corpus Christi Webb. Warwick. No. Anyone like to buzz from Bristol? Bristol Salmon. Coventry. Coventry is correct, yes. <laughs> right, for your picture bonuses, you're going to see three more ONS travel to work areas. In each case, I need the name of the urban area marked in red, which is the population centre of each labour market. Firstly, this city with a population of around 130,000. Newport. Newport, yeah. Newport. Yeah. Newport. Newport is correct. Secondly, this town with a population of just over 70,000. Um, <sighs> no, no, it's um, no. north of Stafford. Or yeah, Stafford. Is it Stafford? Stoke, maybe? Yeah. Stoke? Uh, crew, I know. It's Crew. It's Crew. Crew? Yeah. Crew. Crew is correct. And finally, this town with a population of just over 200,000. Uh, Stevenage. 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 Yeah. Stevenage. No, it's Luton. <laughs> right, ten points for this. Quote, the white revolution had been designed to preempt a red revolution. Instead, it paved the way for an Islamic revolution. Those words refer to reforms of the 1960s. Uh, in Corpus Christi Webb. Iran. Iran is correct, yes. Right, these are questions on fictional wolves for your bonuses. Morgrim the Wolf acts as the chief of the secret police for one of the title characters of which children's novel, first published in 1950? Uh, I, don't I don't know. One of the title characters, so like, um... Children's book, 1950. Really? What was that? Nominate Cherry. The Rats of Nim. No, it's The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. Um, yeah. Secondly, 
Karcharoth bites off and swallows the hand of the hero Berin, in which work published posthumously in 1977? Um, is this like um, some kind of talking thing or something, maybe? Or... Oh, or could it be the Simala? Simarillion, maybe? Right. Uh, the Simarillion? The Silmarillion is correct. That's by Tolkien, of course. And finally, Gillian Anderson voices Morrow the Wolf in the English version of which Studio Ghibli animated fantasy? Japan's highest-grossing film of 1997. The one the is uh, Princess Mononoke, I think. Nominate Web. Uh, Princess Mononoke. That's correct, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. <laughs> what given name links the Polish-Jewish lawyer who coined the word genocide, the author of the 1577 Chronicles of England, Scotland and Ireland, and the Renaissance artist whose works include the Madonna of the Pinks and the School of Athens. Bristol Pie. Raphael. Raphael is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on trees. Which tree is known as Agrifoglio in Italian? Similar etymology survives in the binomial of its common or type species. I've no idea. Silver. What's that? Silver. Silver. No, it's holly. What characteristic of the leaves of holly cultivars, Madame Brio, Silver Queen, and Elegantissima distinguishes them from many other Ilex aquifolium varieties? Nominate pie. They're variegated? Correct. A member of the holly family, Ilex paraguayensis, is known by what short name when its leaves are dried and infused with water? Infused with water. Tea? That's mate. <laughs> right, ten points for this. According to Edward Gibbon, the reign of which Roman emperor, quote, furnished very few materials for history, which is indeed little more than the register of the crimes, follies and misfortunes of mankind. He gives his name to a frontier barrier between the Clyde and the Forth. Corpus Christi Simon. Hadrian. No, you lose five points. Between the Clyde and the Forth. Does anyone want to buzz from Bristol? Bristol pie. Just in the end. No, it's Antoninus, as in the Antonine Wall. Right, ten points for this. Which moon of the outer solar system has approximately three times the surface area of the terrestrial continent that is its near namesake? It was discovered in 1610 by Galileo. Corpus Christi Webb. Europa. Europa is correct, yes. <laughs> These bonuses are on United States history. Firstly, for five points, before the American Civil War, what two-word term described the system by which escaped slaves from the South were secretly helped to safety in the North or Canada? Yes. The Underground Railway? The Underground Railroad, that's correct, yes. Continuing the analogy, what name was given to those sympathisers who assisted the Underground Railroad fugitives in moving between the stopping places or stations? Could be, I, don't, I don't know. Could be conductors or something? Or... Or what? Station master? Con conductors, conductors, or maybe? Conductors, yeah, conductors. Conductors? Conductors is correct. Araminta Ross, known as the Moses of her people, became arguably the railroad's most famous conductor. How is she better known? Harriet Tubman, probably. Harriet Tubman. Uh, nominate Webb. Uh, Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman is correct, yes. <laughs> We're going to take a music round now. We're about halfway through. For your music starter, you're going to hear a piece of popular music. Ten points if you can name the artist. You know where I'm at. You know where I'm at. Bristol Salmon. Uh, Cardi B. Cardi B is correct, yes. <laughs> As of 2020, she was the only female solo artist to have won the Grammy Award for Best Rap Album. Only five other female solo artists have ever been nominated for that award. For your music bonuses, I want you to identify three of them. First, nominated for the 2012 and 2016 awards. 
I fly with the stars in the skies. I am no longer trying to survive. I believe that life is a prize. Nicki Minaj. That is Nicki Minaj, yes. Secondly, this 2017 nominee, heard here featuring on a track by Kendrick Lamar. Let me talk my stew sky. Excuse me on my Tupac. Keep your head up when did you stop? Love and die. Color your skin. Color your eyes. That's the real blues, baby. Like you met Jay's, baby. Uh, you blew me away. You think I'm beauty and blue green and gray. On my side of the middle, I'm moving. 12 years a slave. 12 years a age. Thinking my shade too dark. Lauren Hill. No, it's Rhapsody or Marlena Evans. And finally, this four-time nominee. Is your women now? <laughs> That's Missy Elliott. It is, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. <laughs> Gloucester Cathedral contains the tomb of which Plantagenet king? It became a shrine in the 14th century after his body was moved there from Berkeley Castle, the place of his death. Corpus Christi where? Edward II. Correct. Your bonuses are on the works of Tennyson. In each case, give the title of the poem in which the following lines appear. The title in each case is the name of a legendary or a mythological figure. First, she knows not what the curse may be, and so she weaveth steadily, and little other care hath she. Probably have the Ashley. No, no. Ariadne, I think, and then something, maybe. Because weaving, because Athena, then, like. I think it's the name of it. Look, what you yeah. think it is. Then. Ariadne? No, it's the Lady of Shalot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Here hath he lain for ages and will lie, battening upon huge sea worms in his sleep until the latter fire shall heat the deep. Hmm. I get it. Yeah, I can't remember it. I'm afraid we don't know. That's the Kraken. And finally, what name is the title of the poem which ends to strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield? It's Ulysses, isn't it? Sorry? It's Ulysses, isn't it? Yeah. Should we do that? Yeah. Ulysses? Correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> what was the first extinct animal to have its DNA studied? The results showed that it was not, as previously thought, a separate species, but was actually a type of zebra. <laughs> Corpus Christi Simon. Quagga. The quagga is correct. <laughs> you get three bonuses on a mathematical term. In calculus, what quantity is defined as explicitly non-zero and yet smaller in absolute value than any real quantity? An infinitesimal quantity, or do we have any better ideas? No. Nominate web. In in infinitesimal. That's correct. Which Irish philosopher discussed infinitesimals in his 1710 treatise concerning the principles of human knowledge? Could be Barclay, maybe. Barclay. Possibly. Or do you have better ideas? Yeah. Barclay. It was George Barclay. Infinitesimals played a part in resolutions of the dichotomy and Achilles paradoxes of which ancient Greek thinker born in the city of Elia? Zeno. Zeno. Zeno is correct. Ten points for this. What specific word for a dwelling links clay and wattles in Yeats's poem The Lake Isle of Inish Free, Willow in Shakespeare's Twelfth Night, and in reference to the life of Abraham Lincoln, log? Corpus Christi Webb. Cabin. Cabin is correct. <laughs> you get a set of bonuses on the ballerina Margot Fontaine. When she comes bounding in in the birthday scene, you know you're in the presence of magic. These words of a critic for the Times refer to Fontaine as Aurora, the title character of which ballet? Sleeping Beauty. Yes. Sleeping Beauty. Sleeping Beauty. Correct. From the 1950s, Fontaine gave outstanding performances in The Firebird by which choreographer born in Russia in 1880? Choreographer? Um, pet... Well, I mean, for instance, Petipa, maybe? Petipa. Possibly. Petipa? No, it's Fokine, Michel Fokine. Fontaine's notable partners included the Australian dancer, actor and choreographer Robert Helpman. Give both the name of the role and the title of the film in which he reached a broader audience in 1968. Give me an idea. 
I don't really know. No, I don't think I really know. I'm afraid we don't know. It's the child catcher in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Oh, Ten sure. points for this. In June 2019, who became the first British woman since 1983 to play in the semi-final of the French... Bristol Salmon. Johanna Conta. Johanna Conta is correct. <laughs> right, these bonuses are on English cathedrals, situated on the site of a double monastery founded by the 7th century Saint Etheldreda, which English cathedral is noted for its octagonal lantern tower above the central crossing? Ely. Ely, isn't it? Ely. Ely is correct. Featuring a large number of sculpted roof bosses, which Norman cathedral in the east of England has the second tallest spire in the country after Salisbury? Durham? Uh, Durham? 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 Norwich? Norwich is correct. Which cathedral is noted for its stained glass rose windows known as the Dean's Eye? And the bishop's eye. Yeah, that's Lincoln. Lincoln is correct. Yes. <laughs> right. We're going to take a picture round now. For your picture starter, you're going to see a painting. For ten points, please name the artist. Bristol Salmon. Millet? No. Anyone want to buzz from Corpus Christi? Corpus Christi Webb. Burn Jones? No, you're all in the right area. It's actually Rossetti, but uh, we'll have to take the picture bonuses when someone gets a starter question right. Here we go for ten points, then. What initial letter links the names of a coastal city of Morocco to the southwest of Rabat? The largest city of Benin and the capital of the Republic of Guinea. Bristol Pie. C. C is correct, yes. Casablanca, Bristol, <laughs> and Conakry. So we follow on from Rossetti's depiction of a violin player, which you failed to get. Your picture bonuses are three more paintings of violinists. Five points for each artist you can identify. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chagall. Yeah. That is by Marc Chagall. Secondly... Oh. Whistler? That is Whistler. And finally... Rembrandt. No, that's Franz Hals. Oh. Right, ten points for this. What insect gives its name to two different diagrams? One is used for representing solar disk sunspot density, the other in fast Fourier transforms. Bristol Owens. Butterfly. Butterfly is correct, yes. <laughs> you get three questions linked by a name for your bonuses. The US academic Hubert Dreyfus is noted for the 1990 work Being in the World, a commentary on which German philosopher born in 1889? Heidegger. Heidegger. Heidegger is correct. What was the surname of the fashion designer, Hubert, born in Beauvais in 1927? His designs include outfits worn by Audrey Hepburn in the 1961 film Breakfast at Tiffany's. Um, yeah. can't, no, Pierre Pepin. Um, it's German. Schwartz. 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 No, it's Givenchy. And finally, while serving as the 38th US Vice President, the Democrat Hubert Humphrey was defeated in the presidential election by which Republican? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nixon. It was Nixon, yes. <laughs> Ten points for this. Name any one of the three EU official languages that belong to the Uralic language family. Bristol Salmon. Finnish. The others are Hungarian and Estonian, yes. Your bonuses are on biogeographical regions of Australia. In each case, name the region from the three-letter abbreviation and description. Firstly, a large arid area lying mainly in Western Australia between the Kimberley Ranges and the Gibson Desert, abbreviated as GSD. Great Simpson Desert? Yeah, say that. Great Simpson Desert. No, it's the Great Sandy Desert. 
Secondly, the northernmost extremity of Australia, located in Queensland, abbreviated as CYP. Cape York Peninsula. Cape York Peninsula. That's correct, yes. Finally, Australia's largest desert, abbreviated as GVD. Great Victoria yep. Desert. Yeah. Great Victoria Desert. Correct. Ten points for this. <laughs> Often cut in imitation of a diamond, what artificial gem originated in Strasbourg in the 18th century and is named after the major river nearby? Corpus Christi Cherry. Rhinestone. Rhinestone is correct. Your bonuses are on books by the Canadian author and campaigner Naomi Klein. In each case, identify the work from its subtitle. First, the 1999 book subtitled Taking Aim at the Brand Bullies. No logo. Okay. No logo. Correct. Second, the 2007 work subtitled The Rise of Disaster Capitalism. Shock Doctrine. Yes. Uh, Shock Doctrine. Correct. And finally, the 2014 work subtitled Capitalism versus the Climate. Um, this is getting serious. It's, no, it's like this is this is not a drill, maybe. It's something like that. What do you think? Yeah, this. Is not this is not a drill. Yeah, try it. This is not a drill. No, it is something like that. It's this changes everything. Oh, okay. Right, ten points for this. Who in 1968 became the first woman to win the international prize for painting at the Venice Biennale? She's regarded as a leading exponent of op art. Corpus Christi, where? Riley. Bridget Riley is correct. Yes. These bonuses are on clocks in novels. Which novel of 1891 by George Gissing begins with the Milvanes sitting down to breakfast as the clock of Wattleborough Parish Church strikes eight? Yeah, um, I don't know. What did Gissing do? Grub Come on, let's Street have an answer, Street. please. Nominate Webb. Um, Grub Street. No, it's New Grub Street. Ah. Which novel by George Orwell begins with the line the clock struck half past two? It goes on to describe... Gordon Comstock sitting in the office of Mr. McKechnie's book. <laughs> well, it's very sporting of you to applaud Bristol. I thought you were going to win at one point. But 135 might be enough to come back as a higher scoring losing team. We shall have to see. Corpus Christi, many congratulations to you. 175 it was a great performance. You like to live dangerously, though, don't you? <laughs> Thank you very much. I hope you can join us next time. But until then, it's goodbye from Bristol University. Goodbye. 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 It's goodbye from Corpus Christi College, Oxford. Goodbye. goodbye. And it's goodbye from me. Goodbye.